this free golf GPS app could be a game changer. Now this video is done a full 180 as it was going to be an accuracy test. Obviously I've now got the GT3 in my possession. I've also got the Malesi Rainfinder and we were going to find out once and for all how accurate are these GPS golf apps and to be fair we've put it through the mill. Short ones, long ones, everything in between. However whilst using the GT3 alongside this whole 19 app I discovered something very useful for all golfers to make you all better and I can't believe no one's really thought about it before. Now just like all my videos, full transparency and this is a paid video with Hole19 and I have asked them can I tell you guys how much I got paid for this video and they said yes and I also asked can I show the downsides, the flaws of this app and they said yes. Hence why you'll see in this video. And what I'm showing you today is available on the free version, which is great for some of you guys that want to take your golf a bit more seriously and start cutting your handicap in half. So we were up nice and early this morning at Sanford. Sun just about came up and we've got the Australian Blades, the Butter Knives with us, as well as a few other clubs from my second hand lot to play the woods in the early morning light. And I have to say the three iron that I struck off the first could not have been better. I could hit a hundred of those and it wouldn't come off like that. And the whole test before we get into the hack is how accurate is this GPS? Not only we're going to use the range finder, which obviously picks targets in a distance but also the GC3 which will tell me exactly how far my ball is carrying but before we go any further let's talk about the negatives let's talk about the flaws of this app and to be fair seeing as it's free you can't really have a go at a lot of it because well it's free one thing I did notice however with an app that has so many features is that it can be quite confusing and that's probably why I'm a golf coach slash youtuber as I've got a very simple mind and with features such as your GPS yardages your flyover map stable for scoring multiple rounds live leaderboards your basic stats GPS to your smartwatch and that's just the free version there's a lot of buttons to get your head around so after half an hour to 40 minutes playing with it at home and at the golf course I did somewhat get used to the overall appearance but if you were to plug and shoot and go to your golf course you might want to book a later tea time the next negative and bug that I did find and for you guys that want to plug yourself into the metaverse is the AR the couple of times that I did try to use it app itself actually crashed on my iPhone and and when I did get it working it wasn't necessarily streamlined i.e. it wasn't really accurate to the green and obviously I'm very well equipped with where the greens are around Sanford and just like the smartwatch ability with this phone which I think is a great function that we have the technology in 2022 still feel like AR in pretty much every element of our society is not quite there yet being said it's exciting over the next five years that quite a lot of us are going to be wearing sunglasses yardages scoring and everything else right in the lenses so first up for the battle was my Malesi rangefinder against the GPS. And as I've done multiple tests on multiple rangefinders throughout this channel, the Malesi I do think is very good, as well as obviously including the slope system as well. But toe to toe, when I kept lasering flag and walking it out with the shot tracker, as well as the GPS function, it was pretty much spot on like a good portion of the time, like within a yard. And I was lasering trees, I was lasering posts, I was lasering flags, and pretty much each time it matched exactly what the Malesi was saying. And whether we're one yard, two yard, three yards out, either with the Malesi or the GPS, I honestly feel that's good enough for an average golfer that's just trying to record some stats. But here's where it gets interesting. My new toy, the GC3, and I don't think this test has ever been done. And specifically, the GC3 will measure carry distance very accurately. And carry distance is one of the most important numbers for all golfers to have, especially at the lower end of the bag. I want to do a bit of chipping. I want to see exactly how accurate this GPS is in measuring out carry distance, because some chips will carry 20 yards 
yards and run out to 50 depending on the downhill green or you have to carry it 30 yards and it stops on a dime because you're hitting in to an uphill green therefore not only knowing your total distance but your carry distance with the short game is almost imperative if you want to get down to those single figures so when I hit my chip and the GC3 spat out 20 yards I was very surprised and happy to see when I used the shot track and walked up to the hole and bearing in mind you can do this just with live numbers from the GPS free version as well it read out 20 yards which got me thinking how accurate is the GPS in terms of carry distance and can you start using it to work out your own carry distance with all the lower end of your bag and the drill that I'm about to show you so we moved down onto the beautiful 14th hole down here at Sanford small par 3 and I lasered the flag first of all 147 yards something like that set up the GC3 alongside the golf ball set up the hole on the hole 19 app and somehow hit the green which is very fortunate as we do need a pitch mark to carry out this test further not only that the ball actually sunk into the green therefore cementing that I had the right pitch mark in front of me the GC3 came out with a number of 151 which made sense because obviously I hit it past the flag itself and to my amazement as I walked up to the ball with the shot tracker showing exactly how many yards I had covered all this test does for me is show you three different price points now don't get me wrong the GC3 gives you incredible amount of data that the other two can't but when we're talking about a game that relies on distances we have one very accurate version as long as you've got something to point at flag tree bunker you name it and that's for 70 pounds but in some cases this free version almost trumps the laser as the free version which I'm about to show you doesn't need a flag doesn't need a golf hole, doesn't need a tree. You could do these drills and techniques in your garden, in a local field, on the practice ground, at your local golf club. No golf GPS app, I'm aware, has this feature and I really think they should. So here's where my Tiger Woods towel comes in. This is one of the drills that I did heavily when I was playing professional golf and it's all about landing spots, trying to land a ball on a towel. And, and as I said earlier, you could have a 30 yard carry on a Lynx course that runs out to 70 yards, downhill, downwind. You want to obviously get it rolling as quickly as possible. You could also have a 40 yard pitch shot or carry that stops at 45 yards because it's winter. Carry distance is king and what I love about this app now is that you can measure very accurately all your different carry distance and what ones you need to get better for me for example 30 yards is woeful in my game so I put down the towel as a reference point and again with the laser you can't laser a towel you'd almost need to stick a pole in and then walk back and then laser it and bearing in mind it's still 70 pounds this whole drill can be done free on the free version without the shot tracker obviously you'll measure where you are in relation to some particular point walk further or closer and gauge where that distance is I then put three three balls down and tried to land the ball onto the towel. A bit where I think the apps are going to dominate in this game and I think would be a great feature just like all the other features that hole 19 already does where you miss the fairway or whether you hit it right or you hit it left or you want to change club is that I'd love to see a feature that just has the bottom end of the bag and a tick system, scoring system, a gaming system where week after week you practice your 30 yard pitch shot, your 50 yard pitch shot, your 70 yard pitch shot and if the ball was to land on the target or within a decent proximity you then put a tick in the box. You can have live leagues, you can have scoring. This for me would be a great practice mode where you don't even need a golf course. You can set up your own golf course in the app and all you realistically need is decent signal on your phone, a towel and a wedge. And trust me, just like I improved my pitching when I was trying to get better at this game at a professional level and I had to do a lot more walking and yardages and lasering, you could do this all for free, even at the comfort of your own home. You're seeing here, you could even mark out different distances. Alternate pitch shots is one of the best ways as you're changing the distance, you're having to get a feel for it. So you see me walking out 20 yards, app puts me at 20 yards. You see me walking out to 40, yards t down you walk out to 60 yards and then you're measuring the distances of how close you can get and as you can see i need this drill more than most and so for those reasons i highly recommend you download the whole 19 app and a lot of you guys are thinking simon that's because you're getting paid to say this and you're exactly right no it's not but at the end of the day i got paid a thousand pounds
pounds for this review which was just going to be a bog standard review but turned on its head and without you guys watching liking and sharing these videos i wouldn't be able to have these paid promotions which helps with well let's be honest kids nursery i mean that thing is just an absolute fortune but the only reason i'm showing you guys how much i'm getting paid for this video is because if i'm open and honest about the finances i like to think that you'll give some kind of credibility to my review honest feedback on the bit that i'm getting paid for so thank you to whole 19 and thank you for you guys watching if you like this video you might like this one up here on the left hand side catch you guys later